He is known for being a wealthy aristocrat from the Greek colony of Locroi Episifirioi. He is recognized for his competence in all areas of ancient philosophy, especially natural philosophy and astronomy. He is Timaeus of Locri. In the ancient Greek colony of Locroi Episifirioi, there lived a wealthy aristocrat named Timaeus. He had served in high offices in his native town before journeying to Athens, where he became the protagonist of one of Plato's famous dialogues, the Timaeus. Although Plato does not explicitly label Timaeus as a Pythagorean, there are enough hints in the dialogue to suggest his deep understanding of ancient philosophy, particularly in the fields of natural philosophy and astronomy. During Timaeus's time, his historical existence was widely accepted. Cicero even reported that Plato himself had traveled to Italy to study with Timaeus and other Pythagoreans. Yet, as the years passed, modern scholarship began to view Timaeus as a literary figure constructed by Plato, drawing upon the characteristics and knowledge of the Pythagoreans he was familiar with, such as Archytas. This dismissal of Timaeus's historicity is primarily based on the lack of independent information about him, apart from what is mentioned in Plato's dialogues. However, some scholars argue against this view, pointing out that many other characters in Plato's dialogues were indeed real historical figures. Timaeus's presence in ancient texts, including references by Iamblichus, Proclus, and Porphyry, adds weight to the argument that he may have been a genuine Pythagorean philosopher. Regardless of his historical status, Timaeus's role in Plato's dialogue forever immortalized him as a significant figure in ancient philosophy and a representative of the Pythagorean tradition, leaving a lasting impact on the intellectual landscape of ancient Greece. Timaeus of Locri, a philosopher from ancient Greece, is known for his work entitled, On the Nature of the World and the Soul, also referred to as the Timaeus Locris. This book, which has been preserved in over 50 manuscripts, serves as a summary of the theories defended by Timaeus in Plato's Timaeus. However, modern philology has revealed that this work is a pseudepigraphon, likely written between the early 1st century BC to the early 1st century AD, and is based on Plato's Timaeus rather than being the original source. The Timaeus Locris, written in Doric Greek, begins with the declaration, Timaeus of Locri said the following, and proceeds to summarize the ideas found in Plato's Timaeus. While it aligns mostly with Plato's work, it notably omits the theory of forms. Despite doubts about its authenticity, in antiquity, on the world and the soul was considered a main source for Plato's dialogue, perpetuating a rumor that Plato had plagiarized from a Pythagorean book. The pseudo Timaeus, as it is now known, simplifies the presentation of ideas, providing conclusions rather than arguments and omitting any dialogue. It is believed that this style was intended for classroom use, serving as a summary of Plato's challenging original work. Some of the theses presented in the pseudo Timaeus are difficult to comprehend without prior knowledge of Plato's writings. This work shows traces of Middle Platonist ideas and terminology, resembling the works of Euterus of Alexandria and Philo. It is likely that the author lived in Alexandria and was familiar with Euterus's philosophy. The author modernized Plato's natural philosophy by incorporating insights from Hellenistic astronomy and medicine. Additionally, On the World and the Soul appears to include material from lost commentaries on Timaeus, suggesting a two-step process in its composition. In the realm of ancient philosophy, a figure named Timaeus of Locri emerges as a protagonist, whose thoughts and ideas continue to captivate modern minds. Timaeus, a Pythagorean philosopher, delved into the nature of the world and the soul, leaving a lasting impact on later Neoplatonists such as Iamblichus, Syrianus, Proclus, and Simplicius. Timaeus' work, known as, On the Nature of the World and the Soul, supported the prevailing belief among Neoplatonists that Pythagoreanism and Platonism were interconnected, forming a unified theory. This perspective aimed to position Plato within the Pythagorean tradition, shedding light on the deep connections between the two philosophies. Centuries later, in the 15th century, Giorgio Vallet translated Timaeus' work into Latin, making it more accessible to a wider audience. Valla's translation was printed in Venice in 1498, enabling the dissemination of Timaeus' ideas throughout Europe. Furthermore, the Greek text of Timaeus' work appeared in Aldo Manuzio's Collected Works of Plato, first published in 1513, solidifying its place alongside the renowned works of Plato. Timaeus' profound insights on the nature of the world and the soul remain relevant today. They invite us to ponder the fundamental questions of existence, consciousness, and the interconnectedness of all things. By exploring Timaeus' philosophy, we can gain a deeper understanding of our place in the universe and the intricate workings of our own souls. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.